and a mediated hostage deal for an extended pause in Gaza fighting failed to materialize ahead of the Ramadan holiday due to begin today. Both the Mossad and U.S. Secretary... U.S. Secretary of State, let's do that again. I was ready to forge on. Yeah. An immediated hostage deal for an extended pause in Gaza fighting failed to materialize ahead of the Ramadan holiday. Both the Mossad and U.S. Secretary of State Blinken blamed Hamas. More on this from ILTV's Devo Klein. A rare Mossad statement said that the agreement to release Israeli hostages in exchange for an extended pause in Gaza fighting did not come together because Hamas wants to ignite the region on Ramadan more than it wants an agreement. Mossad chief David Barnea led the Israeli delegation in rounds of mediated talks in Paris, Doha and Cairo that included the head of the CIA. The Mossad statement read, at this stage, Hamas is holding to its position as if it was uninterested in a deal and is striving to ignite the region during Ramadan at the expense of the Palestinian residents in the Gaza Strip. U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken also blamed Hamas for the absence of a deal. The uh, issue is Hamas. The issue is whether Hamas will decide or not to have a ceasefire that would benefit everyone. Uh, the ball is in their court. We're working intensely on it, uh, and we'll see, what, uh, we'll see what they do. But there's no doubt in my mind that um, getting to this uh, ceasefire with the release of hostages uh, would be a profound benefit to everyone involved. Israeli media reports say that some families of hostages taken by Hamas have received signs of life from their loved ones held for 156 days. The IDF censor prevented further details from being published at this stage. The IDF had previously announced that 33 of the remaining 134 had been killed in captivity. Thousands gathered once again in Tel Aviv to bring attention to the plight of the hostages still held in Gaza. Family members of those held in captivity were joined by hostages released in November. Coming shortly after the UN report on Hamas sexual assaults and International Women's Day, this week's rally put a special emphasis on the women still held in Gaza. We have here, uh, like every Saturday, we have a rally. This, this weekend is dedicated to the women that are still in captivity, 19 women that are still there. Even though all the agreement that we had that the women were supposed to be released, they were not released. And, but it's them and all the others, uh, still 134 people that are not here and we are waiting for them to come. 